Oh, what's this, Miss Meow Meow? We have an incoming message from Brianna in New Jersey. Hi, Dougie Pickles. Can you do a, a episode about tarantulas? Thank you. You're right. Tarantulas are a magnificent suggestion. Thank you so much to Brianna for requesting this episode's Cozy Critter. If you'd like to request an animal, my sleepy friend, have an adult send us a message on our Cozy Critters podcast Facebook page or on TikTok. Now, on with the show. Hey, howdy, and hippopotamus high fives, my sleepy friends. It's your old pal, Dougie Pickles, and I'm here with my sidekick, the sleepiest cat in all the land, Miss Meow Meow. Tonight, we're off to meet a creature that might seem a little spooky at first, but is actually one of the coolest critters you'll ever learn about. Tarantulas. They have lots of legs, lots of fuzz, and a whole lot of personality. I'd love to hear a joke, Miss Meow Meow. Hmm, what's a tarantula's favorite movie? <laughs> Spider Man. That's one of Miss Meow Meow's favorite movies, too. Let's get our magical traveling balloon ready. I need your help blowing it up. So, take in a deep breath through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Great job. Just one more time, my sleepy friend. Take in a deep breath through your nose and then exhale through your mouth. You did it. Now our magic balloon is all blown up. Tonight, our balloon is decorated with shimmering webs and little sparkling stars, perfect for a night full of spider secrets. My sleepy friend, Are you ready to meet a tarantula? Let's get in the magical hot air balloon basket. And here we go. First, we rise up high over your house. Higher and higher we go until you can see the whole city beneath you. Our friend the wind takes us over winding rivers and lush rainforests with the entire canopy stretching out like a green endless blanket below and colorful parrots fly alongside us. I wonder if they think we're a parrot too. Oh look, we're here. Can you guess where we are? Let's use our noses and see what we can smell. Take in a deep breath through your nose and exhale through your mouth. It smells like a magical mix of earthy sweetness and fresh greenery. It's the damp rich scent of soil after rain mixed with the crisp smell of leaves and flowers growing high in the treetops. There's a hint of sweetness from ripening fruits, the faint spice of tree bark, and the cool freshness of moss-covered rock. We're floating over the Amazon rainforest in Brazil. Oh, wow. 
look what Miss Meow Meow just spotted. It's a tarantula. Do you see that burrow over there near the roots of that big tree? That's where our tarantula friend lives. Tarantulas are bigger than most spiders. Some are the size of a muffin and others are as big as a dinner plate. Their bodies are covered in soft, fuzzy hairs that help them sense their surroundings. And look at those long legs. They're perfect for creeping quietly through the forest floor. Did you know tarantulas come in all kinds of colors? Some are brown and blend into the dirt, while others are shiny black, golden, or even blue. They're like nature's little works of art. Look at that tarantula over there. It's so quiet and calm. Tarantulas aren't scary at all. They're actually quite shy. They spend most of their time hiding in burrows or under logs, only coming out at night to hunt. And guess what? They don't spin big webs like other spiders. Instead, they sneak up on their dinner like tiny furry ninjas. That's a great question, Miss Meow Meow. What do they eat? Well, tarantulas love bugs like crickets and grasshoppers. But the bigger ones can eat small lizards or even tiny birds. They grab their food with their legs and use their fangs to take tiny bites. Don't worry though, tarantulas aren't dangerous to people. Their venom is just strong enough to help them catch their dinner, and it won't hurt us. Do you see those tiny, silky threads near their burrow? Tarantulas use their silk to line their homes. It's like a soft, sticky carpet that helps them feel vibrations from the outside world. If a cricket comes hopping by, the silk acts like a doorbell, and the tarantula will know right away. And here's something extra cool. When tarantulas grow, they shed their old skin in a process called molting. It's like getting a brand new suit. And what's even cooler, is during this time, they can even grow back lost legs. Imagine being able to replace your socks or shoes whenever you want it. Look over there. There's a mother tarantula carrying a little silk pouch. Inside are her eggs, sometimes up to one thousand eggs. And once they hatch, the tiny spiderlings climb onto their mom's back and ride around for a while until they're ready to explore on their own. Isn't that just adorable? Watching these tarantulas makes me think, even though some creatures might seem a little different, or even a little spooky. They're often full of great surprises. Tarantulas teach us that being unique is something to celebrate, and we should share our unique talents with the world. It looks like our tarantula friend is heading back to its burrow curling up in its cozy silk home. I'm pretty tired too, and Miss Meow Meow is all curled up in her web of blankets. My sleepy friend, 
Are you ready to head home and dream about our furry tarantula friends? Well then, let's head home. Here we go. First, we rise up past the treetops and the moonlit canopy. Our friend the wind takes us over winding rivers and lush rainforests and colorful parrots who fly alongside us. I wonder if they think we're a parrot too. While we head home, I thought of a lullaby I want to share with you. It goes like this. In a quiet burrow, soft and deep, the tarantula drifts into peaceful sleep. With furry legs and a calming crawl, it dreams of forests and leaves that fall. Tarantula, tarantula, rest your way through the gentle hush of the forest sway. Dream of crickets and bugs abound in your cozy home where you're safe and <sighs> sound. Oh look, you're back home. Miss Meow Meow and I had such a wonderful time with you. We hope to see you soon when we visit our next animal friend, Acorn Weevils. Until next time, my sleepy friend. Toodaloo and cozy critter dreams too. Cozy Critters is produced by me, Doug Frazier, and distributed by PRX. Make sure to subscribe to Cozy Critters on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, the iHeartRadio app, or wherever you get your podcasts. 